Hello and welcome back to another Practice Better Hack video where we show you fast tips on how you can use and optimize the Practice Better platform. I'm Shelly with Practice Better and today we're going to be talking all about saving recommendations in your protocols. save recommendations when building protocols or protocol templates. So over time, you may create multiple protocol templates or personalized protocols for your clients. You can create a protocol recommendation once and then reuse it over and over again with just a few clicks. So this will save you time and your protocol recommendations will be consistent across templates and across your client protocols. So let's dive in and take a look so I can show you how this is done. All right, so now we're back and we are in my demo platform and I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to find your recommendations. So let's head over to my practice and then let's go down here to protocol templates. So when you're in your protocol templates, you're gonna see here in this white bar recommendations I'm going to get to that in just a moment, but that is where you're going to find the list of recommendations that you've saved over time. So let's say you are in the midst of creating a protocol template that you're going to reuse over and over for multiple clients or patients around sleep. And we're going to come down here. So you have three categories of recommendations. You have your food recommendations, your supplement recommendations and your lifestyle recommendations. Let's say you are just wrapping this up. You wanted to add one more uh, food recommendation around herbs and herbal teas to help with sleep. So we're going to click on add another. And here I'm going to type in herbs and herbal teas. <clears throat> and then it helps just to give some examples of this for your client. So we can say um, the chamomile, lavender, let's say ginger, and maybe valerian. And then under the explanation, I'm gonna paste this in. So this is just telling your client why you are recommending this uh, based on that protocol. So once you've created this, you may think about there's other protocol templates or protocols that I'm going to personalize for clients. I think I'm going to be reusing this over and over. So I'm going to want to save it to my list of favorites. So I'm going to click on done here and you'll notice that it added it down here to the food recommendations in this template. But what I want to do is go ahead and save the recommendation here. And I'm also gonna give it tags. So the reason for the tags is that as you build your list of saved recommendations, you might have a pretty long list and you may wanna filter by tag to see all the recommendations you have saved for say sleep or for herbs or gut health. So it's helpful to put some tags in here. So I'm just gonna put tea, herbs, sleep, relax, and gut health. You can always add or edit these later, but those are the ones that come to mind right now that I wanna add. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save this recommendation. So once we've done that, let's go over here. I'm gonna save this template and show you how you could pull that saved recommendation into another protocol template or protocol that you're in the middle of personalizing for your client. So let's say now you are um, creating a protocol template around gut health and you are almost finished, but you remembered that you did want to add something around the herbal teas because you know um, some of these, especially ginger, is going to be helpful for digestion. Um, so you don't want to have to retype all of that over again. So you can come over here to your red button and then this very top option with the heart, 
So let's add saved recommendations. So now you can see your list of recommendations that you've saved over time. And if that list is really long, you can click here to filter by the different tags. So if I come in here to sleep, it's just gonna filter down, or I could say the gut health. I'm not seeing that right now. Oh, here, gut health. So it's just gonna filter those by any recommendation that has those tags. But I can see right here, this is the recommendation that I just saved to my list of favorites. So I'm gonna click on that. Now you could add multiple recommendations, but for now I'm just gonna add this one to this protocol template. So now I just pulled that saved recommendation in. So think of it as just your favorite list, but it, it's really called saved recommendation. So now I have this in my gut health protocol template. You can, obviously you could come in here and edit this if you wanted to tweak it a little bit for gut health, but at least you're not starting from scratch. So let's go ahead and save this template here and let's go back. So now let's go into where you're gonna find that list of saved recommendations. This is the list right here. So any of these you could go into edit, or if you click the three dots here, you can edit the title and the tags. You could duplicate it if you have another recommendation that's very similar, but you're just gonna add something to it. You could share with colleagues and you can go ahead and delete that. So this is where the list is. And if you wanted to change the order for the more common recommendations that you're pulling into protocols, you can do that as well. So that is how easy it is to save recommendations when building client protocols or protocol templates. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.